What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. So, the Tales of the Rays four year anniversary live stream just ended. It was only a little over an hour long, but uh, they did give us a lot of stuff to uh, think about uh, and kind of digest as to what's coming to the game. We got some pretty exciting stuff and something that's really gonna change uh, how the game is played. So first we're gonna go over the PV. Um, that they revealed. This only shows the first half of this month. Uh, the second half is going to be showed at Tales of Festival next week, uh, March 6th and 7th. So we'll get the rest of what's happening this month during that time, and they'll explain more on what's kind of going on. But first, let's look at this PV, um, and uh, we will go from there. So the PV basically started with, you know, this, showing all the years all the home screens uh so pretty pretty cool there we'll just let it play uh real quick 190 plus characters so first things first we already knew this it was in the game news we are getting a beat the links event uh, which we're getting dual mirror arts or crossover mirror arts, whatever you like to call them. We're getting up one for Kana and Zephyr, and we are getting one for Sarah and Alan. Um, so that's pretty cool there, and that's going to be that should be starting on the third. So that's this coming Wednesday, and then this can is coming sooner than expected. The last voting poll we had for uh, crossover mirror jarts, uh, the three pairs are being added. I don't think they're coming with the, um, what do you call it, with the Tales of Link event. I think it'll be two separate things. I think we'll probably see these once the current event ends, you know, what we have right now for the four anniversary girls. Uh, I think this will be after that, but there's no actual date tied to anything yet. So we'll, we'll probably have to wait for a producer's letter or something. So, Ion and Sink, Victor and Ludger, and Leon and Judas are the three pairs. And we get a little look at Leon and Judas fighting together. Very, very cool. We're not done yet, though. Now, this is what's really going to change the game. So... You see Schwan there. What does this mean? Well, in the stream, they basically explain that they're implementing something called form change, where basically a character can choose between a different form that they had, and you'll be able to choose this before you go into battle. So, for example, you set up your team, you click on the quest, and before the quest, kind of like where X's overray button is, uh, I assume there will be a button for So, like, Raven, for example, can become Schwan. Uh, you will ch you will click the button to switch between them. Now, uh, Raven is going to stay obviously a long range you know archer character, but they explain that Schwan is going to be a close range character, which means he's obviously going to be fighting with a sword. So that probably means you're going to have to summon for a whole new set of gear to use Schwan, even though he's still tied on to Raven as a character. I'm sure, but when you switch between the two, they're going to have their own separate stats. But uh, this is the start of a big kind of like change to the game. Because there are lots of characters they could do this with. Um, the only unfortunate thing is the, the characters I felt, feel that would have benefited the most from this would have been uh, uh, Saray and Rose. Um, you know, they could have had different forms for the different Armatuses. But I think it's just going to stick. I think for those, it's just going to be simple, you know, okay, overrays. And then, you know, we get costumes, and then, you know, we obviously have the spirit gears. Um, but what they could do this with, because it's a lot more... Because with Zestiria, it's a little more complicated, because there are different forms that they have. Like, Saray can do Earth, Water, Wind, and Fire. But with, like, Ludger, Julius, and Victor, it's just their Chromatis. So they could do a form change with the Chromatis. They could definitely do that, uh, which would be really, really cool. Um, and I believe that's everything they say. Yep, and then the, the rest is going to be shown at Tales of Festival 2020. Now, to quickly explain, it's not actually Tales of Festival 2020 because... Well, it is. Because it got canceled last year, so they're now having it earlier this year. Normally, Tales of Festival is like in June. 
Um, but they're having it, you know, in March this year. And I, they might have their regular one in June. I don't know how they're going to handle the rest of this year. Because are we just going to always be a year behind? Like next year, it'll be 2022, but we'll have Tales of Festival 2021. There, there's going to be a year, probably this year, I think they mentioned that there's going to be two Tales of Festivals just later in the year. Um, and I believe that was, yep, that was everything. So that was everything in the PV. So... Roughly, I, Tales of Link stuff will drop on the 3rd because that's the anniversary of Tales of Link. So we will have a banner with all four of those characters, probably all their marriage arts up to this point. And, uh, you know, obviously those crossover marriage arts that we just saw. That's the banner I'm definitely going to be saving for, uh, for the most part. Um, because I've really wanted to get, you know, secondary stuff for all the Link characters. The only Link character I have two mirror arts for is Sarah. So, uh, Alan, Zephyr, and Kana, I would love to get some stuff for. Um, but now let's go over here to the stream and kind of talk about some of the stuff that went on here. So, we're just going to skip on ahead a little bit. I'm going to explain this first part. Um, it's not, like, super important, but if you are a newer player or if you... Well, actually, it's more... It's really just important if you haven't started playing the game yet and you're considering it. So, if you're watching this video, you haven't started playing the game, but you've been considering it... They're doing this new kind of like beginner thing where when you first start the game, um, where is it? You get to choose any character, any normal character from any of the Tales games. Uh, you choose them and you get their full equipment set. You get their mirror art, you get their normal mirror art, you get their five star, you get all their four stars, you get their three star, uh, uh, three stars. Um, so any character, you know, from Cress all the way to Velvet. Um, you get to choose one, and they're ju they just come completely geared out, which is very, very nice. Um, and then they were, you know, these are all the kind of hidden things. Ray's Festival is going to have 10 multis we're going to get to do, because these are, we're getting 150 free summons. So we're getting 10 of those multis on the Ray's Festival, so that's the banner with uh, Leon Judas, Ludger Victor, and uh, Sink and Ion. So you get 10 free multis on that banner. Because uh, it'll go over the course of 10 days. And obviously, it has no date. Um, we got our free multi last night on the anniversary banner. You know, the banner with Decisive Mirror Jarts for Iria, Kohaku, Riala, and Rudy. Um, speaking of which, I guess I'll just mention real quick. I did... There was like a sale pack. There was like a $1 pack that gave like 450 diamonds some, or Mirror Gems, something like that. I did the first two steps. On both steps, I got uh, Kohaku's Decisive Mirror Jart in each one. So uh, I'm definitely set with that banner. I have two out of the four Decisive Mirror Jarts. I'm good. So there's four other banners that we are waiting to see what we're going to get stuff for. We know one of them is the Tales of Link banner. We'll obviously get a free multi on that when that drops. And then as for the other ones, um, I assume whatever this Schwan Raven thing is, is probably one of these whether he's story or an event himself. By the way, since we're getting Schwan, I am heavily suspecting that it's going to be an Alexei event. I feel like Alexei might be a boss that we get at the end, and then we'll get that form change, uh, Mirage Art for uh, Raven, and then we'll probably get two other decisive Mirage Arts on that banner. You know, they could put like Estelle and Flynn. You know, that, that would fit perfectly, because they all have ties to Alexei. Um, so one of these is probably the Schwan thing. And then for the last two, this is probably story. And then obviously whatever the end of the month event is going to be, which we have no information on. So since, since one of these is probably story, that means we're either, either going to see an overray or we're going to see a new character. Um, you know, there are lots of characters it could be. We've seen lots of characters in the story lately. Uh, Arietta, Soleil, um, you know, which most of which end up being villains. We know a bunch of characters are under the uh, Living Doll stuff. We know Sergei's out in the world somewhere. Um, so they really, it really could be anybody. Um, and then obviously for the final, what is it, March? I can't really think of anything that's at the end of March, so I'm not really sure what event we could even uh, possibly see. I guess they could do like a White Day event if they wanted to do it a little late. Um, but I guess we'll have to see, or like a new, uh, bridal banner maybe. Um, but we'll have to see what that's going to be. So that's probably those banners right there. Um, there's a Tales of the Race fan meeting, which obviously doesn't really matter to English, uh, fans. Um, okay. And then here's where they go and explain what happens when you first start the game. So you see all the games, you can choose any of these characters here. 
And that's how you uh, basically get your free thing. And then they were basically just going through the beginner tutorial stuff here. Um, and then there's also... Okay, so based on the character you chose, there's also, like, a free banner for you to summon on. Um, so that's pretty cool there. You know, it's pretty... You get a free single summon right there, and then it's, like, half off to actually summon on the banner. And obviously this has all the Abyss characters, so you would start building your uh, yellow team. Uh, because they chose Jade. Um, What is this one right here? Okay, it looks like there's some kind of, like... Uh, pack here of some kind for uh stuff um the other thing that was mentioned okay here's where they kind of went over everything so there you see well we are we already saw it in the uh in the pv the only other kind of big thing i guess there really is to, and here's the form change stuff you can see raven they were talking about schwan um let me see if they have the other image there um, they're basically explaining that he's going to be, you won't be able to use the same, so like, for Raven's gear, you're not going to be able to put his, you know, his bows on Schwan. You're going to have to put a sword on Schwan, uh, for his equipment. So, it's not interchangeable equipment, you know, for like, stats and stuff. Um, and then the only other thing, I think the big thing to kind of talk about here, by the way, there was this whole thing that went on, uh, they are giving... A hundred diamonds because of a retweet campaign. And then we're getting another hundred because they played the co-op. Uh, and they got to a certain number of floors, as you can see right there. So that was that. And then the last... I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, they talked about Tales of Festival. Um, and then the last thing on the end here is Mirage Prison, the second arc of the story. Uh, it, it's still underway, it's still being recorded, but they said, you know, soon it should be released. So what happens when that's done is once you've completed, uh, Mirage Prison, uh, normally before the full voice is added, uh, you can still complete it, by the way, if you're only like halfway through it, you can still complete it and then reset it. It's not going to reset automatically on you. There's going to be a button to press, but, uh, those who have completed it will be able to select the button to reset it. Uh, whether you buy the voice pack or not, because the voice pack is paid. Um, but all players will get the opportunity to reset it and basically replay it and re-get all those diamonds. Which is like, it's like 2,000 diamonds you can get from replaying. Because uh, what, like each chapter gives you 60 diamonds on normal, 60 on hard. So that's 120 per chapter. And there's usually like 15 chapters uh, total. So yeah, you're getting like over 2,000 or close to. You're getting close to or a little over 2,000 diamonds from that. So that'll be nice to uh, kind of grind up there. And then after that, they basically just said their thank yous and all that good stuff. And uh, then they said goodbye. So that was pretty much it. But this is all very exciting stuff. You know, we got the Tales of Link uh, anniversary stuff happening, you know, in just a few days on the 3rd. Oh, one more thing I wanted to mention. the I mentioned it in my other video uh, from last night, but... The overay banner, uh, whether, you know, you're going to summon on it or not, it will be dropping tonight, you know, the 1st of March. So, um, those who want to summon on it can. I think, I don't know for sure. I know for a fact the first step is a half-off multi for both diamonds and mirror gems. And I think step two is a normal multi with mirror gems and diamonds. But it may just be mirror gems. Uh, I could be wrong on that. You know, we'll find out tonight when it actually drops. Um... And it has all the overrays up to, like, a specific point. So that's pretty cool there. Um, but besides that, yeah, Tales of Link stuff should start on Wednesday, uh, the 3rd. Yeah, 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 I have that right. Um, and then the dual mirror Jarts, you know, for the three duos uh, that got voted on on the last event should probably start around, like, the 11th or the 12th when the uh, event, the current event ends. Um, it could be sooner, it could be later, because it's not really a normal event. Um, so we'll just have to see how that kind of goes. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you're excited for some of the upcoming stuff. And obviously, when Tales of Festival happens, I will be covering everything that gets 
uh, talked about there. You know, Tales of the Rays, Tales of Crestoria, Tales of Asteria, and of course, any if there's any remakes or remasters or Tales of Arise info, I will also cover that. But I'll probably make each one its own video because I know not everybody comes to my channel for one specific Tales thing or one or another. But uh, I will definitely have videos out for all of that stuff. But uh, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. Happy four-year anniversary to Tales of the Rays. I hope you've all been enjoying it for those who play. And here's to many, many more years. And I guess one last thing. You know, I've seen a lot of comments being like, oh, this is the last story arc, so uh, is the game going to shut down soon? And two things. One, they've never confirmed whether this is the last story arc or not. It's just called Last Cradle. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the end. And second... They're Im they implemented a brand new equipment system in the last year, and also now they're implementing a form change. Uh, so I would say the game isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Honestly, out of the three Tales mobile games that exist, Tales of the Rays is their biggest moneymaker. Um, so there you go. Uh, but that's going to be it, guys. I'll see you all next time, and have a wonderful day, everyone.